This is True Buzz, that Mary J. Now we ain't new to this. From my stones and from my cannabis enthusiasts. The, I just, I hate the judgment of what weed, the stigma it gets. It, it makes me honestly go harder for, I work, I feel like I do work a lot harder because I smoke so much weed. Because I want to prove that weed's not making me lazy. Like if I'm lazy, like if I take a day off, I tell people like today was one of my days off and this is on my list. And it was like a fun, like I'm going to do this shit, but like the rest of my day, Props. <laughs> no, but I love it. But, but like the rest of my day, like I was just traveling a ton. I'm still probably going to be doing a lot of editing and shit, but like, I, I don't know, man, I'm not lazy. And a lot of it's because I want, I don't want weed to be that for, I don't want people to like, like even my mom and dad or whoever to say like, oh man, Mike is so lazy. It's because he smokes weed all day. Because people always excuse, like say it's weed, and it's like it's not weed, it's you, dog. Like you're lazy, bro. And weed, yeah, it can help make fucking your facts, couch fucking facts. Yeah, it can help your couch feels better, you know. But like, there, like I don't know, man. When I go running and I'm high, I love it, dude. I love. It. I listen to the music and I get more into it, and I like no. run to the pace of the music, no. and you feel it. You go on a hike when you're hot. It's just like it's an enhancer, bro, and it enhances your couch. It enhances your bro. laziness if you lazy, but it can also enhance your fucking creativity your hard work you know dude i'm, I'm there 100 percent, man and it's uh it's just a bummer when like how you like sorry real just to finish on that point of the significant other and which what you feel it sucks when you're showing so much for years that i'm not a lazy guy i'm not you know weed isn't killing me like that like i'm really kill, like i'm even with the business and shit dog like i've but we're we're doing good and i smoke weed every goddamn day and like it to still have no support is a bummer when it's like mother fuck you can't say weed is that like yeah it's hard it, it's it's just hard dude yeah, yeah i'm not like, saying yeah no weed support by the way she supports me in other ways but the weed shit is just like get over that shit dog it's just if you dude, can drink if you let if you let people drink and you don't think that they can smoke weed i i hate that well person. and i'm gonna I give you that at, person dog and at least yeah i do 100 you. You know, you know I mean? no, 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 if, if it's like you like a lot of older people they'll see people get drunk and have drinks and if someone goes to smoke a joint and then like that's stigmatized it's like what are you talking well, about the most important thing to me too that i was the whole time like you are is just being real and open about how much you smoke and what you do. It's not like the whole, it's not like you met them saying like, I, I can only speak for myself. It's like, oh, it's not God. like I was like, oh, I, I'm a straight edge, like a, you know, student doing no, this. I was like, no, I smoke. I, I said like right off the bat, I'm like, I'm a smoke till I die. Yeah, dog. Me too. Like, so that, too. There, there's a, there's a fucking realness to that. And it's true, man. It's not like a whole, like, cause people were telling me like, you're not Snoop Dogg or, you're not whatever. It's like, I'm not trying to be. I just enjoy smoking weed and I can handle my shit, dog. Like the day I start not handling my shit and like I have bills and I'm in debt and like life is rough. Want me to turn it off and back on? It just clicked. It's all good. It's all you good. Sure? We'll, we'll run on these two. Oh, oh, yeah. You still got two. Fuck, man. Look at you. Oh. What a baller, <laughs> dude. But, uh, but yeah, like I feel like once all that shit's like nothing's falling apart. If anything, it's getting better, dog. And at the end of the day, when I get home, like a lot of people like drinking their whiskey and I tried that and I don't mind it here and there, but even still, it's just like, there's nothing. It's like some people have their cigar, bro. A good bud in a night in a clean bowl or a joint is just like my, those little yeah, bats, those little tiny joints, man. I'm just like, fuck me, dude. I could all, that's my favorite thing ever. I bro, love that. And you're, you're going to feel good the next day. See, I like, yep. of course yep. I love my fucking weed, but I also, for some reason, drinking a beer during a podcast, except I get some like fucking indigestion or something, like is awesome. There's yeah. something about like having a brew in a podcast that I yeah, like. Yeah, I never, you know, it's fine. I just never get, I never drank beer a lot. Beer is so big in Albany where I'm from. Like it's so, but it was a lot of like dollar Bud Light nights. So you could go out and people would just spend a dollar for a Bud Light. You put $2 down, one for a tip, one for a drink. And it was just fucking all night. But then you just get to be like, it doesn't even taste good because it's just a shit. It's like watered down, whatever. And then when you have a real beer, like eight years later, when you get like an, go somewhere that has like a real brewery and you taste what beer is, it's, it's like, oh, I haven't been drinking beer at all. It's like smoking middies forever and then smoking real <laughs> weed. And you're just like, what yeah. the fuck, bro? <laughs> this, is some like, other, this is some other shit. Yeah, right this here. can taste good too. <laughs> <laughs> Usually when I smoke, it tastes like shit. You know what I mean? You're just like, I'll put it up with it because it's getting me high. But when you're hitting stuff now is just like, I mean, I love it. Yeah. Even the shit I brought it with like yeah, let, me, let me check this out. I just got that. So that's a thirty dollar eighth. I go to this place called MMD. I don't know, am I should I not say things or should oh, I yeah, you're chill. Okay. Uh but uh it's in it's in Hollywood and usually so I, I tend to think that places in and they had by the way it, it, it looks 
It looks pretty they good. Had, it looks they decent. Had, they had fire, fire, fire shit. They just, it's like 60 bucks, 70 bucks. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. It's hard, man. Right? That's it. Cause they do have high, high level shit, but I just stay to the, I still get high as fuck off that fucking $30 oh, I feel shit. You. So it's and a, that's where like buying a little hash or something to top it off. So I didn't know that you could buy, this is what that is. Yeah. Okay. That's just some loose hash. Basically, is that just, what it's called? See, I'm a you know, it's funny, dude. I'm so into weed, but I'm such a moron. Like, this is what I'm so if I went to the store, I would say, Let me and that's get, right up your alley because it's a sativa. Oh, dope. So, I would ask for a loose hash, or I, I would prefer pressed hash. I, I like breaking it up, but, gotcha. I, but actually, this is nice to load on bowls. It's basically that's just like keef. that's uh, yeah. okay. That because I love putting buy, keef yeah, on it's a bowl. essentially just keef. Do they sell keef at all, or is it probably yeah, way more uh, expensive? Huh? No, there are. I've been uh, they do. I bought some from some places around here. Um, so cool does it have the i um i've been last night i was googling because i wanted to do i have this t-check testing device that i fuck with for my recipes here like, what do you mean to it tell oh to tell you how the, the potent potency is. of it and whatnot wow. so i go i was googling because i want to do some videos comparing tests between i want to buy store-bought coconut oil and butter that's infused with the lab test on it yeah dude and i found a couple but now i need to contact the companies and see how they infused it exactly oh, yeah, because exactly when you change. enter it, it it matters if you did it with like a flower if the flower is decarboxylated if you did it with an uh do you uh um so to make edibles you um dog see that's crazy dude, bro i never yeah. even heard that word <laughs> dude, i feel like every year with weed there's a new word dude that's not like terpenes was my word last year and i was like terpene what the dude, fuck is a terpene this is true buzz that Mary Jane. Now we ain't new to this. From my stones and from my cannabis enthusiasts. Never heard a show as good as this. Uh, number one, it's the best. Bringing in many special guests in the industry of cannabis. Business owners to growers, even artists you know of. So sit back and just roll up. Perfect show for my smokers. True buzz. Hey.